Google just announced its new AI video generator called Vio. This is a direct competitor to OpenAI's Sora model. I will talk about everything step by step. First, let's watch the announcement video. Our teams have made some incredible progress in generative video. Today, I'm excited to announce our newest, most capable generative video model called Vio. Vio creates high quality 1080p videos from text, image, and video prompts. It can capture the details of your instructions in different visual and cinematic styles. You can prompt for things like aerial shots of a landscape or time lapse, and further edit your videos using additional prompts. You can use Vio in our new experimental tool called Video FX. We're exploring features like storyboarding and generating longer scenes. Vio gives you unprecedented creative control. Well, this is an excellent news. Using Vio, you will be able to generate videos longer than 60 seconds with just one text prompt. If you search on Google, you will find many text-to-video AI tools available online. But all of these tools are limited to generating only a few seconds of video, often resulting in eerie and blurry outputs. Techniques for generating static images have come a long way, but generating video is a different challenge altogether. Not only is it important to understand where an object or subject should be in space, it needs to maintain this consistency over time, just like the car in this video. We combine the best of these architectures and techniques to improve consistency, quality, and output resolution. To see what VO can do, we put it in the hands of an amazing filmmaker. Let's take a look. Well, I've been interested in AI for a couple of years now. We got in contact with some of the people at Google and they had been working on something of their own. So we're all meeting here at Google Farms to make a short film. The core technology is Google DeepMind's generative video model that has been trained to convert input text into output video. <laughs> it looks good. We are able to bring ideas to life that were otherwise not possible. We can visualize things on a time scale that's 10 or 100 times faster than before. When you're shooting, you can't really iterate as much as you wish. And so we, we've been hearing that feedback is that it allows for like more, more optionality, more iteration, more improvisation. But that's what's cool about it. It's like you can make a mistake faster. That's all you really want at the end of the day. At least in art, it's just to make mistakes fast. So using Gemini's multimodal capabilities to optimize the model training process, VO is able to better capture the nuance from prompts. So this includes cinematic techniques and visual effects, giving you total creative control. Everybody's going to become a director, and everybody should be a director. Well, this is a good line. Everybody's going to become a director, and everybody should be a director. Because at the heart of all of this is just storytelling. The closer we are to being able to tell each other our stories, the more we'll understand each other. These models are really enabling us to be more creative and to share that creativity with each other. Over the coming weeks, some of these features will be available to select creators through video effects at labs.google, and the wait list is open now. If you go to labs.google, you will find this page. Here you will find all of their new experimental tools. You can join the wait list by clicking here to get early access. I will put the link in the video description. Of course, these advances in generative video go beyond the beautiful visuals you've seen today. By teaching future AI models how to solve problems creatively, or in effect simulate the physics of our world, we can build more useful systems that can help people communicate in new ways and thereby advance the frontiers of AI. When we first began this journey to build AI more than 15 years ago, we knew that one day it would change everything. Now that time is here. Now let's take a closer look at these demos. We'll start with this one. It is really impressive. This is the prompt a fast-tracking shot through a bustling dystopian sprawl with bright neon signs, flying cars in mist, night, lens flare, volumetric lighting. This is another one. There is definitely some morphing and fuzziness here, but the consistency of the car is really great, and the driving physics are solid. It is definitely a little blurry and not high definition. The scene is changing really fast, like the car is speeding through it, and then this tunnel looks cool. Now right here, when it comes out of the tunnel, we see all these other cars with great consistency and high detail, along with all the buildings in the background. This is overall incredible, especially considering how this scene started out and what it went through to get here.
A few months ago, OpenAI announced their text-to-video tool called Sora. If you go to their website, you will find more realistic and high-quality videos generated by Sora AI, especially this one. I think OpenAI's Sora is more powerful than Google's VO. I already made a complete video about Sora. If you are interested, you can watch the video from the video description. That's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to let me know by commenting below.